Delmonico's two-run homer in the opening inning, his eighth home run of the year, paced an early attack against Tigers starter Miles J12, who yielded six runs five earned on five hits in 123 innings. Chicago kept up the pressure with Davidson's 25th homer, a fifth-inning solo shot off Joe Jimenez, and a pair of manufactured runs in the seventh to get to double digits. Davidson is 6 for 13 with 6 RBIs through in the series. Yon Moncada added 2 singles and 2 RBIs, improving to 7 for 14 with 7 runs scored in the 3 games. James McCann hit a 2-run triple in a 3-run second inning, part of a 3-hit game for him, but the Tigers couldn't keep pace against White Sox starter Reynaldo Lopez 23. Lopez, fighting a bad cold, allowed 4 runs across a season-high 7 innings. He labored through a 31-pitch fourth inning, but bounced back to record his second straight win. I battled a lot, Lopez said. It was a constant battle for me but I think it was, under the circumstances, a very good outing. I'm proud of myself because I was able to battle through the discomfort I was feeling. Moments that mattered Delmonico stakes Sox to lead Jay retired the first two batters in both of his innings before succumbing to a half-dozen two-out runs. The first two of them came after Jose Abreu's walk on a 32-pitch brought up Delmonico, who turned on a first-pitch fastball and laced a 106.7 miles per hour line just over the right field fence for a 20 lead in the first. 14 pitches, one big hit Lopez had an 0-2 count on Mickey Martuk in the fourth inning and was a pitch away from stranding a leadoff runner at first base. Instead, Martuk took a couple close pitches for balls and fouled off eight others to keep his at-bat alive before sending a line drive into the gap in right center field, scoring Jaime Candelario from first base to cut Chicago's lead to 74. It was a great at-bat, Tigers manager Brad Osmus said. If we could have gotten that run in, could they pushed Martuk across the plate to make it a two-run game, I think that would they made a big difference going forward. Quotable they've been doing a nice job. It's still a process, it's still something that's going to continue to develop. We're happy to see some of the things going on right now. White Sox manager Rick Renteria on the offensive role his team has been on, posting 37 runs and 42 hits in the last three games you have to find a way to grind through. You have to find a way to battle it out. The big thing that we talk about is you have to find a way to have some fun. You have to find a way to smile through it all because, with the amount of failure that's in this game, it's very easy to be negative. It's very easy to let it affect who you are as a person, let it affect your game, and that's something you try to resonate with the team. You have to find a way to take positives. McGann, on the Tigers fighting through a rough September Tigers Norris encourages he works to find old form after further review the White Sox challenged a ninth inning led off infield single from Jose Iglesias, arguing that third baseman Yolma Sanchez barehanded grab and throw beat Iglesias to the bag. After a 26-second review, the call was overturned and Iglesias was ruled out. What's next White Sox Dylan? Cavio 5, 7.90 gets the start Sunday as the White Sox look for their 11th win against the Tigers in the 19th and final game of the season series. Game time is 12.10 p.m. Court. Covey is searching for his first career major league win. Tigers Matthew Boyd 510, 5 5.75 takes the mound for Sunday series finale looking for his first win since July 29th, and his first win either against the White Sox. First pitch at Comerica Park is set for 1.10 p.m. E.T. Watch every out of market regular season game live on MLB TV. Kyle Beery is a contributor to MLB.com based in Detroit and covered the White Sox on Saturday. This story was not subject to the approval of Major League Baseball or its clubs.